Marieta. Thanks for tuning in. Today I am dissecting the chapter 12. It's called Law of One from the book Law is the Law and it's called the Law of One. So I'm going to start with the quote from Albert Einstein that goes like this. Human being as a part of the whole called by us universe is a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest, kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a very few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. So this is a beautiful description basically of this law of one that is all about. We have this tendency to think that um, the only one relationship is um, a reflection of love, the one with your significant other, the romantic relationship. And only when you find this love, you are loved. And you can only feel love when you are in love with this romantic partner. Or you limit your circle to your family, friends, your possessions, and you feel love towards these beings. But the truth is that we are all part of the whole. We are all part of the universe. We are all part of the divine matrix and we are connected, all of us. So you are connected with me because you are part of the same divine matrix, the same field, the quantum field, and I am connected to you. And most likely you are watching this video because for whatever reason you were drawn to this video and it resonates with you. And so if you actually realize the truth, the truth is that we are all one. We are all one being. We are all one field, one divine matrix. You stop actually dividing um, and living the illusion of separation. Because the illusion of separation is, uh, is a separation, it's the illusion uh, in terms of time and space. We have the illusion that we are separated. We are separated from each other and we are separated by time and we are separated by space. But the moment you actually remove the time and the space illusion from the equation, what's going to happen is that you are left with oneness. You are left with oneness, one big giant quantum soup where we are part of the soup and we are all interconnected. And that means that if I do something and I'm gonna hurt you in one way or another, it's gonna come back to me because we are all connected. That means that if you heal yourself, you're going to heal other people who are around you, immediately they're gonna feel the same benefits because they are part of you, they are connected to you. That means that if you give permission to yourself to shine your light, you're giving permission to other people in your life to shine their light. That means that if you finally stop playing the victim and you step into your greatness, you are giving permission and you are inspiring other people around you to do the same. In other words, you are hope. You are, you are, you are a living example of someone who can do that and these people will be inspired. Um, that means that you, you as an individual, because you are not separated from the rest, you can actually change the world. Now that's deep, right? So all we need to do is really to remove the separation. I mean, not even separation, to remove the illusion of separation, right? And to, to become whole and to understand that we are here together. We are, we are sharing the same um, planet and we are sharing the same existence in this time and in this space. And there is a reason for it, right? And uh, if you hurt other beings, don't expect to be happy because that's the law of karma again in place. So I want you to really expand your consciousness. I want you to expand this understanding that it's not just you and your closest friends that are important. It's actually the whole planet. It's the animal kingdom. It's all of us that we are in this quantum soup together. 
and remove the illusion of separation. The more aware you become of this, the more you're going to start feel and see things in a very different way. And here's the deal. There is no coming to consciousness without pain. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, in order to avoid facing their soul. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. Carl Jung. Now this is, this is huge, right? Because in order to gain this understanding, you need to actually be willing to go through the pain. You need to be willing to understand that, you know, if you see other person suffering, it's actually you who is suffering, right? And the more you open up to this pain, or in other words, the darkness, you will become enlightened. The more enlightened, the more light is within you, the more you're gonna connect with other humans or animals or living organism and you're going to feel their pain and you're going to understand that again this concept of oneness is present is present in our daily life right so so by ignoring what's going on in the world by ignoring what's happening to your neighbor or by ignoring um you know what is really going on these days um you basically are suppressing part of you and you have a choice. You have a choice to make a difference or you have a choice to stay just ignorant. Uh, it's really your choice, right? You make that decision for yourself. So what I really want to give you today is basically uh, simply homework where you um, describe uh, what's going on in your life when it comes to relationships, when it comes to relationships to your family, when it comes to relationships to your friends, when it comes to your personal relationships with your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, um, and when it comes to relationships with your clients or even with animals, right? Um, describe these relationships especially start focusing on the negative relationships if there is something that is not working for you in your life i want you to define it where is it coming from why is it present i want you to look at the darkness and then i want you to actually shine some light on the darkness and understand that you know we are all one right remove the separation start practice this separation again i'm saying separation but it's not even separation it's illusion of separation right so start practicing um, this, this illusion of separation, start seeing the illusion of separation every single day, especially if there is a complicated relationship in your life, right? Because that particular relationship is showing you that, okay, here you go, that's the darkness, we need to heal, we need to shine some light. And then I want you to practice the forgiveness meditation. Yesterday I discussed the law of mirror. You can go back and check it out. In the law of mirror, I'm talking about the world is your mirror. So if you are experiencing challenges or, or something is not working in your life, the world literally just responds to the vibration within you. And then you need to objectively look at it and don't play the victim. And the fastest way is really practice the forgiveness meditation. And part of the forgiveness meditation is the whole Pono, Pono formula where you say these four um, statements. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. And then that's how you're going to heal the relationship with that other person. And again, it comes down back to you because we are all one and it comes down back to you. The more you heal yourself, the more you forgive yourself, the more you're going to set other people free. So I hope it makes sense, guys. Um, if you haven't pre-ordered the book, you can go to loveisthelaw.com and pre-order the book from there. You're going to receive a bunch of bonuses or you can grab free chapters. Simply go to loveisthelawbook.com. So that's what I got for you today. Tomorrow I'm going to cover the law of being, which is chapter 13. And it's all about well-being. So stay tuned. Talk to you tomorrow.